Besides busy holiday travelers at Sky Harbor, you may see striking workers. Employees for HMS Hosts, which runs many of the restaurants at the airport, went on strike today. Reporter Brianna Isabel is at the airport and tells us why workers are striking. You can see striking workers behind me. They say they will continue indefinitely until their requests of fair raises, affordable health care, and amongst other things are met. This is not the first time HMS workers have been on strike. They say that since their previous strike in September, their demands have not been heard. In those last six months, it's become very clear at each session that it's less and less. They're willing to listen to us um, and to hear what we have to say. HMS workers, as part of Unite Here Local Union 11, have been in negotiations with HMS for nearly four years. They say they are frustrated and want action. Well, the biggest thing that we can do is go on strike. Um, the workers here make Sky Harbor America's friendliest airport, right? And the only reason it's that way is because of us. We reached out to HMS and have not heard back. But according to the Arizona Republic, the company says they are doing everything they can to minimize inconvenience. Sky Harbor says so far the strike has impacted less than 10% of the restaurants that are usually open. Still, the dozens of striking workers hope their complaints during the busy travel season will be heard. And they plan to continue their strike until HMS is willing to negotiate with them. They're not willing to budge, and we're not either. Travelers we talk to say they haven't noticed the lack of workers in the Starbucks and other food vendors in Terminal 4. But if you plan on traveling over the next few days, you may want to consider eating in advance or buying packaged food that is okay to take through security. At Sky Harbor Airport, I'm Brianna Isabel, Cronkite News.